this is one of the features that I've been waiting for for years on a Goldwing. Good morning YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. DIY tips and tricks, motor vlogs, and accessory installation and review videos. If you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing or motorcycles in general, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. If you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. I've been meaning to ask you the last couple of motor vlogs what you think of my shorter intro uh, video and audio. I changed the audio up. I went from about a 30 second intro down to about a 12 second intro. Some of you were complaining about the intro was too long and so I thought okay I'll just make it shorter and see if that satisfies everybody. So today, as promised, I'm doing a motor vlog, and today we're going to talk about this loud-ass Ford Escort in front of me, or whatever it is. No, actually, what we're going to talk about, or what I want to talk about today, is the power windshield on the 2018 Plus. I'm sorry, i got to wait till this guy gets on down the road. And they say Harleys are loud. So I want to talk about the electric windscreen on the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. This is one of the features that I've been waiting for for years on a Goldwing. And the reason is because the first time I used an electric windscreen was in Brazil back in 2016. I'm sorry, 2006. And we were on a, uh, I think we were riding a BMW, like a 1200 RT or ST or what, I don't even know what they call them. It was like a sport touring bike, but it had, a, it had an electric windscreen. And the day we were riding, it was pretty warm, and I remember we would go into a town and have to slow down, and I could lower that windscreen and get a lot more air coming across my chest and in, into my face, and it was really nice. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if the Goldwing had this electric windscreen? Well, now we have it. And I think Honda did an excellent job of the engineering on this uh, electric windscreen. It's got about four inches of travel. I'll raise mine all the way up. Now, I've got a really tall F4 Customs windscreen. It's the biggest one they make. It's four inches taller than stock. And when you put it all the way up, I'm actually looking through the windshield. Now you gotta remember that my GoPro sits about four inches below my eyes. So even if I lower this windscreen down, I'm now looking over the windshield. But from the GoPro perspective, it still looks like, I, like I'm looking through the windshield, but I'm not. Now if I put it all the way down, that's what it looks like. And even with this plus four windshield, I'm still getting a lot of air uh, over the top of the windshield, and it's very nice if you're riding on a warm day. But if you're riding on a really cold day, you just crank this bad boy up all the way, and it blocks the wind like nobody's business. This F4 Customs windshield is a little bit wider than stock, and it's four inches taller than stock. This one is. They make three different models, but I have the tallest one. And on a cold day, you can raise this thing up and you get a lot more protection. Or if you're riding in the rain, uh, you can get a lot more protection from the elements, no matter what your riding situation is or conditions are. So I'm a huge fan of the electric windscreen. Now, I did have one situation early on. I'd say I maybe had a thousand miles on the bike. And I had one particular day where the electric windscreen wasn't working properly. And I don't know why. It would not, as I recall, it would not go back down. 
when you turned off the bike. It just kind of stayed where it was. Now I could manually put it down, but when I would turn off the bike, if I had the windshield raised up, you know, when you're supposed to, a uh, normal operation, you turn off the motorcycle, the windscreen goes back down to its lowest position. Well, it wasn't doing that. And uh, that, ha that lasted maybe a couple of days, and then all of a sudden, it started working again. And I cannot tell you why. I have no reason for why it didn't work and no reason for why it started working again. But I was considering taking the bike in for a warranty repair. Maybe turning the bike off and leaving the bike off for a couple of days. I don't, I don't remember if I left it off for a couple of days, but maybe that reset something in the ECM and caused it to start working properly again. I don't know. So anyway, I'd like to know your comments. What do you think of the electric windscreen on this 2018 plus Honda Goldwing? Because I absolutely love it. And I've, se I've seen a lot of comments uh, back when the, you know, when the bike first came out and first was introduced and they talked about the electric windscreen. And a lot of people said, oh, that's ridiculous. Who needs an electric windscreen? That's just more to go wrong. It's additional weight on the bike and it's too much trouble. And, you know, some people just don't want to see anything change, I guess. But that's because they've probably never ridden a motorcycle that had an electric windscreen. Now, I think if you've ever ridden a bike with an electric windscreen, you will never go back. Now, that's just my personal opinion. I want to hear what your opinions are. If you have a 2018 plus Goldwing, do you use the electric windscreen and do you like it? And if you don't own a 2018 plus Goldwing, is the electric windscreen a selling point for you? Is it, is it something that might make you consider a 2018 plus Goldwing? Because to me, it's one of the best, most awesome convenience features of the Goldwing. I think it just, I think it improves the comfort of the motorcycle maybe more than any other feature on this bike. And I use mine all the time. You can see I've adjusted it several times during this ride. If I feel like it's a little warm, I want a little more air, I just drop it down a little bit. It's just amazing. It, it works very well. It's very sturdy. It's very well engineered. And I'm just a big fan of it. So I'm actually on my way back home from Cardo Systems. I uh, may already have the video out where I talk about uh, resolving issues with my Cardo Pack Talk Bold headsets. And uh, that will be in a separate video, so I'll put a link to that video in this video. I just want to take a second to remind everybody about the October promotion on my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos. Because this is going to only last until October 31st at midnight. That's the last chance to get. This is your last opportunity to buy these videos at the original price less 20%. We're actually doing a 20% off sale right now. And there was so far the response has been amazing. So as I've mentioned to you before, I have new videos coming out on November 1st. And I don't know if I'm going to release all of them actually on November 1st or if I'll start releasing them on November 1st and then over the next two or three days release all of them. It just depends on how long it takes for the videos to upload to Vimeo. But certainly within the first few days of November, you'll have these new videos as part of your library. And if you purchase the videos now, you will get all the new videos. So all of you existing customers that already have my maintenance videos, don't worry, you are going to get all these new videos at no extra cost. But on, no on November 1st, the price is going up. So now's the chance to buy these videos at the old price and save 20%. And yesterday, uh, Ricky and I went through and did a final quality control check on these videos. I had already, I, I, excuse me, I had already rendered all the videos out 
and was preparing to upload them, I thought, you know what, we're going to sit down, we're going to go through each one of these videos again just to see if there's any mistakes or anything that needs to be corrected. And by golly, we found quite a few little tweaks that I need to make to these videos before uh, we're going to release them. So I'm going to go in today and do some last minute editing. Just fix a little, couple little things. I'm thinking one video I, in my audio I said the right side of the bike and the picture on the screen is actually of the left side or something like that. So little things like that, little mistakes that I need to go in and correct. So that's all I'm going to say about the videos. Uh, the October promotion, I'm, I've also extended that October promotion uh, to include the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing videos. You know, and believe it or not, I'm still getting orders for DVDs because I still have a few sets of DVDs left. And so the DVDs are still available through our website, cruisemansgarage.com. But I won't be getting any more DVDs made. Now, the DVDs are for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing, the fifth generation. And once these DVDs are gone, that's it. There won't be any more. So uh, you can still order them, though. So if you prefer having these videos on DVD, that's still available to you. So I'm going to quit droning on about my uh, products and just tell you I appreciate you tuning in today. Always invite your comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're happy with your electric windscreen on the 2018 Plus Goldwing, put it in the comments down below. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.